Now, Tone, we will lead off with you. Okay. And this is a sports show. It's a big deal, sports show. Of course. Mm-hmm. I went and seen uh, Jurassic World Dominion on yes, Saturday. Did. Mm-hmm. Okay. My wife is a longtime card carrier of the Jurassic cult. Sure. Okay, sure. okay watched the Jurassic Park as a child, mm-hmm. fell in love with it, has yep. watched all of them, loves them. Tom Diggs is our friend, my friend, that is in the same cult. Yep. Loves him. I don't know if it's a part of a, a tattoo yet or not no, on no, his no. body, but it's certainly something that has been chatted about, I assume, oh, yeah. by him and others. Loves the thought of dinosaurs, big thing, yeah. the Jurassic yeah. Park kind of made you fall in love with yeah, it. Yeah. So my wife forced me to go see the first Jurassic World, okay, which was the one in the dome. They had Correct. the little carts, things mm-hmm. that go crazy. I enjoyed it. I actually, that was my first time mm-hmm. experiencing the Jurassic situation. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I said, this is awesome. The Adonis Rex. Boom, I think is the sure. name, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't see the Fallen Kingdom, the next one here, the Jurassic, because there's three Jurassic Parks, which is with the Correct. OG crew. Now there's three Jurassic Worlds, with, which are with uh, Chris Pratt mm-hmm. and uh, Claire. Yeah, uh-huh. Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. So did not see the second one of the second portion of the Jurassic chapter. Yep. Saw this most recent one, the Dominion, which is after covid after people weren't, you know, going to theaters. Yep. Shortly after Top Gun Maverick came back. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah. I went in there with the expectation after seeing only Jurassic World, the first one. Right. Whatever the fuck it's called. Origins. Yep. Or whatever I it is. Out of all okay. the series going into this one with a two-year hiatus, three-year hiatus of nobody doing anything and theaters being dead and the amount of money mm-hmm. they put in and the cast that they put in and everything like that. I went in there with pretty high expectations. Went and saw it at the same IMAX theater that I saw Top Gun Maverick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, here we go. This is how I'm doing theaters now. Theaters are back. I'm excited for theaters to be back. I'd like to support the biz. I like going to the movie theaters. I think it's a fun date night. My wife and I, we go pay $45 for the popcorn. Mm-hmm. We do the entire drink thing. By the time you're out of there, if you're a family, it's like a $120 evening. Oh, yeah, you know, let's least. get back into it. You know, Let's do this That's whole right. thing. I'm excited to keep this whole thing around. I get in there. I don't think I have ever seen a bigger piece of shit film. <laughs> that thing was so, so bad. All aspects of it. Every single aspect was bad, I thought, personally. If you have access to that much money, that much time, mm-hmm. that many actors, and that, that much, I don't know how you put that shit out there and say, yeah, we're proud of it. This thing is, is doing better than Top Gun Maverick, I guess, first weekend out. I have no idea how. Is this just because the Jurassic people go watch whatever they want? My wife, Jurassic cult member, just like mm-hmm. yourself, she did not enjoy it either. She was actually disappointed, I yeah, believe, that's what I said, by yeah. the movie. Is that how you <clears throat> feel about it? And what is that how? I actually thought there was a chance that the Jurassic series, other than that first Jurassic World that I saw, was um, was like Sharknado. Oh, oh no. no! Like, is it supposed oh, to be terrible no. acting? No, 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 no. Is it supposed to be terrible acting and the story is supposed to be as corny as possible? No, and it, no, is it supposed no. to do this whole Parody. thing? Now, I have read and seen in other clips that like terrible transitions from like one yeah, s- back to another mm-hmm. is a trend of the Jurassic thing, I guess, that is a part of the Jurassic world, which I didn't understand. But boy, that movie was bad. I'm not the demo. I'm not a part of the cult. <laughs> I'm not a child. I have a 35-year-old male that's never seen it. I don't think I'm part of the demo. That was horrendous. I, now, I was getting attacked by some people that are part of the Jurassic cult community. You guys feel the same way, don't you? I mean, that was a bad, bad fucking movie there. Yeah, well, it was set up for a disaster for you because you went back to the scene of the crime where you just witnessed the greatest yeah, motion, theaters are back. motion uh-huh. picture of all time. Theaters are back. Talk on Maverick, I've seen it exactly. here. Mm-hmm. I'll come see Jurassic World Dominion. They yep. spent hundreds of millions of dollars on this. Oh, yeah. right. I'm going to go ahead and do this. That was going to be my new thing. It was going to be my wife and I's new thing. Spielberg struck gold with the first one. Uh, second one was good. The third one of that one sucked. And then I thought Jurassic World was good. And then Fallen Kingdom, the second one, first half was good. And then they left the island and it fucking sucked Bad. after that one. This one, I had high hopes because, you know, all the original cast from the first one was back. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking oh, Dr. Grant was there. Dr. Ian Malcolm was there. Helen Hunt was there. That's not her name, but <laughs> kind of looks like her. Allie God. or something. Laura Dern. Laura there Dern. it is. She was actually pretty good. Which character is that? The, the like, older, older lady female, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Blonde she's, hair. She's pretty sassy when she wants yeah, to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 She was pretty what? sassy. I yeah. thought the movie had had a lot of good callbacks. I thought the dinos was cool. were cool. You did not. I just thought. I thought there was potentially Connor Campbell wearing a dinosaur well, costume sometimes. a couple of times. I just yeah. thought the story sucked. They tried to fit like five different timelines in. They were jumping all over the place. And then I went and found out that the writer of this movie was the same writer of Pacific Rim Uprising, which... 
if you know what? Pacific Rim, the first one, the original, was a nine out of ten movie, and then the second one, Pacific Rim Uprising, was a six out of ten, maybe a three out of ten at best. So it was doomed from the beginning. The writing was just the writing. It was and terrible. The, the writing was so bad. Not it good. was so bad. The acting was terrible too. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they crashed the plane. Okay. They, okay. No spoilers. First week, I'm not going to do it. Anyways, it's in the preview. They crash a plane. Yeah. And they just walk out of the plane. I don't even think any of them had a single cut on them at all. Sure. Oh, no. The, most, the thing they were worried about after crashing a plane is not whether or not their body's good or anything like that. Is walking on ice that they think maybe is too thin. Yeah. Okay? And that is real. Like That takes real thespian there. Oh, yeah. To have Absolutely. to walk on something and act like it's thin ice, you know, after you just crashed a plane. And it was just that for a good five, ten minutes. I'm like... Okay, this has got to be some of the worst. I mean, at least make me feel as I'm not a good actor. I'm a terrible actor. I'm not saying that I ever would be good or I could do better. But there was numerous parts of that fucking movie. I'm watching IMAX. 20, 30 feet. Mm -hmm. These people's faces are 20 to 30 feet tall right in front of me. So I'm seeing every single dimple on their face. There's some acting in there that's like, all right, they don't even believe the shit that they're doing. How could you? This story's terrible. Ty, I know you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. You're the movie guy here. Uh, you went to school for it and that whole shit. You, I don't know how that fucking pops out and they say, yeah, let's do it. You know what I mean? I don't even know how they promote that thing after watching it for the first time. Well, you mentioned it crushed. I mean, it made a shitload so of money. Good but for I, them. But I think the difference, like with Top Gun, after that first weekend where it still made a shitload of money, yeah. like it gets the really good word of mouth. Like people, you know, universally saying how good it is. Second weekend won't. Yeah, this will probably go right down into the pooper. I mean, people will still see it because, like you said, Jurassic Park is spanned for, like, almost, you know, 25, 30 years now. So, like, and then they do the same thing where they're bringing back the old characters. But from the first time I saw this theater, or, I mean, the trailer, like, this, the whole franchise at this point, I think, is kind of just, like, jump the shark. It's like, how many new things can they do? Like, I probably won't go see this new one. Not that... No, I'll, no, wait for it just to get to whatever platform. Well, that, yeah, yeah, there you go. I, I, I wouldn't pay to go see it. But, I mean, obviously, people still will. And I, I would guess that I haven't seen, like, how it's doing from the critics. But Bad. they're going to reboot this yeah. again. Like, we're going to get another Jurassic Park movie probably with different people in, like, four to five years. Hey, Zito. This is going to be quite a shot. And people will think that I'm new to this movie critic game because I've only mm -hmm. seen a few movies in my entire life. And I think that is a little bit of a difficulty whenever you're trying to get into the movie critic game and you haven't seen a lot of movies to base anything on. Like, I don't know what my expectation or judgment is off Sure. Of. Like, watching that movie, I can only judge off of the first Jurassic World that I've seen, and I'm going to do a comparison to that to this new one. Yeah. Now, the Jurassic World, I think I was in my house when I watched it, probably on my couch, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Yeah. This one, I'm at a theater paying a shit ton of money to watch right. it. Right. So it's set up for a little bit different thing there. Mm -hmm. This this movie was like the downsizing, <laughs> downsizing or Yikes. downsizing movie, whatever it's called. Oh, no. uh -huh. It's like there were scenes that they just like, why, what, what happened? I'm telling you, it was amateur hour. Yeah. I ain't never seen anything like it before. Well, and I it, was so bummed for the entire, because they'll come at us yeah. for not supporting, you know, and like saving the theaters and mm -hmm. like things like that. And then you roll that thing out there. It's mm -hmm. like, hold on. But it was a nice reminder. We need to do this. We need to be reminded sometimes because it's not all glitz and glamour. No, it's not no. all bro gun maverick is sure. what I was being <laughs> attacked by oh, the Jurassic cultist for talking about how good Top Gun was and not this. It's not all going to be that. We, some movies are just going to stink just mm -hmm. like this show. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to remember. Some movies are just not going to be good. I think we kind of we kind of forgot about that because of the bangers that were coming back in theaters after COVID, mm -hmm. you know? Bang, bang, bang is happening. And then all of a sudden you walk into that one where they spent a few hundred million dollars on it to make and, you know, are telling us to get back into theaters and see it. And then you sit down and you're like, okay, there's still going to be shitty movies out there. We have to remember that as we go forward. Yeah. Only the bangers will survive. Mm -hmm. True. But there will be, sh just like music, every single generation has terrible songs that were released and did not make it. You only hear the bangers. So when people say, oh, back in my day we had boom, 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 there's also a shit ton of music that you never heard of because it got forgotten about after one play. Only the bangers survive, and that's what we have to remind ourselves post-COVID that even if we go to theaters for our movies, there's going to be movies that fucking stink, and that just so happened to be JWD. Yeah, and I mean, like you mentioned with the, some of the baby dinosaurs, they look like they were Wallace and Gromit clay, and they basically just threw well, them in there. Well, those were from the 80s. Yeah, sure, but I mean, this movie wasn't made in the 80s, Tony. It was made last year. Yeah, but the film, it... Mm. 
I mean, this movie just got made, though. It didn't make it in the 80s. Like, the, 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 baby, the, baby. Yeah, the baby dinosaur Listen, was I atrocious. said it wasn't. That, looked like, that literally looked like somebody's hand. They put like some makeup Listen, on. Listen, I said it, was a great, it wasn't a great film, okay? You remember when you were but attacking it, my Oculus boxing partners? In there, you're like, well, until they make some good, high-quality graphics, ain't nobody going <laughs> you know, to Well, yeah, those guys stink. Well, that's what, that's what Jurassic <laughs> World the Dominion was. They went backwards from the original Jurassic the, World, the, I think. The footage in the film, though, is from the 80s. So you're. Th- what are that. you talking about? I don't, I don't recall that. You're yeah. talking about the little baby in the so room. You're yeah, baby. After, like it opens with the uh, Howard, about. whatever her name is, and they're saving these uh, like uh, no dinosaurs spoilers, that. They, they, that's no spoilers, but oh, this no. movie. Oh, those babies. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you guys even watch the movie? Yeah. Okay. All right. Watch it so much. I hate it this much because there's, it there's a lot of film watching of what they did in the past. At the beginning. No. There I'm, was no, there were no flashbacks. I will say I we'll talk about it during the break because I'm not. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Well, that certainly you know adds to it maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, might, but, <laughs> I might have missed a lot of the setup. Don't Anyways, you. that's why this show is going to be different than any others, ladies and gentlemen. That has been the first ever edition <laughs> of. Mac Fee Review Monday. Well, well not, I mean, you we did, did it. You watched another one too, Card Counter. That was a banger. I'll tell you what, that movie <laughs> fucking stunk. <laughs> what is the deal? I feel like such a hater, but I th- I feel like I have high expectations of these people that are getting paid a lot of money to tell stories. Hey, great storytellers are not something that are just falling off a of tree. So whenever there are a lot of money is being given to certain movies to tell stories, you hope and expect mm-hmm. it to be a banger. That Card Counter movie, I I mm-hmm. love cards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After watching Card Counter. I think I could very easily figure out how to count cards for blackjack. If I really wanted to dive into that, I think I could do it, especially if I ended up in jail for like 10 years and that was all I could do Mm -hmm. for 10 years and figure it out. I think I could. But God damn, what are we doing? Why are there so many movies like this that just stink? Well, I heard Sandler put out another fucking dud. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that movie was awesome. All right. (laughs) Bo Cruz is a stud. The fucking Boa Challenge would have you in a pretzel. Yeah, yeah. Was, his name was. was his name, but his name is Paul Crew. No, no. no. Paul Boa Cruz. <laughs> Should have been Paul Crew. Listen, Hustle was a feel-good movie. It was. I did not know it was a Happy Madison production, though. As soon as I turned that thing on and I saw the tea and the glass break, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, it's a Happy Madison production. Here we go. I thought he was. Who was an- playing point guard? Schneider? Well, I wish. <laughs> no appearances by him. No. In this. Yeah. He did kind of break some of the was Happy Madison. In it? Even his wife. No, Sean Payton was in it. DP was in it. Yeah. Dan yeah. Patrick was in yep. it. Yep. Um, McLovin. McLovin was in it. Ah, McLovin. Maggie and uh, yeah, McLovin. Pierloff. Maggie was in it? <laughs> What's that? Maggie wasn't with Pierloff? Pierloff no. was on representing Maggie and Pierloff. Dan Patrick was on representing Dan Patrick. Right. But Bo Cruz, hell of a ball player. Yeah, guy had a you know a little bit of temper. Loved his family. Mm-hmm. Um, th- that that movie, okay, feel good. What's his name? Anthony Edwards is a fucking dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kermit oh. Willis. Kermit Willis. Kermit he was Wilkes. awesome. Yeah, yeah. he yep. was absolutely awesome in that movie. I just you know, I think we all figured out what was going to happen in that movie literally as soon as we started the yeah, movie. Pretty uh-huh. much. I don't want to sound like I'm such a movie critic that I know what was, what's going on. As soon as you start that movie and you start watching like five minutes in, you're like. Okay, I know okay. exactly how this I wonder if he's going to make it. Now, now, no spoilers or anything like that, but it is a good feeling at the end of that movie. See, that yeah. one didn't feel like a waste of time, though, did it? It sounds no, like Jurassic right. World was a waste of time. Sam asked me two times if I wanted to leave Jurassic World, <laughs> oh. and, and we did leave. We, I, I did not see the exit of the place, which I so assume happened. So you see the beginning or the exit then? <laughs> Couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't oh, need to no. see the beginning. Oh, the ending was sweet, though. There no was a spoilers. sweet dinosaur. Yeah, no, no spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> but it was a good ending. At the beginning, they threw a five-minute montage of exactly what's going on on All Earth. Right. Just, just as if we're being transparent <laughs> here on McAfee Movie Review Mondays, yeah. I did not see the end of Card Counter. <laughs> no, but there was no point to. I left that one with about 35, that 40 movie. minutes left. Sure. I did watch all of Hustle. Yeah. So uh-huh. yes. back to the original. Watch the entirety of Hustle. Could not make it through Jurassic World Dominion after paying 60 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Could not make it through Card Counter, which I was watching at the house pretty comfortable. So that now is officially the end of... <laughs> Mac for Review Monday. Great I mean, segment. Good for us. Great segment. Segment. We really came out. Yeah. 
firing on that. Hey, you don't have to worry about supporting the theaters, by the way, because after the top yeah, gun, I think you got 45 years ahead of you where you kind of built up, uh, hey, I supported the theaters. Oh, yeah, well, I bought a couple yeah. extra tickets for... Um, for this yeah. one too, because mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure yeah. the legs, no one's, yeah, sure. so I could get my leg out because the knee's still locked up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody was living by the rules of where they're supposed to sit. So, uh, <laughs> so we yeah, actually had to ask people to move out of a seat that me and so me and Sam could fit. They just moved into two other seats that I definitely owned that <laughs> I had. You know, I bought four tickets so yeah. I could kick the leg out. Yeah. You know, sideways because there's no can't go in front of it. There's two people sit in our seats, two in the other two seats, and the whole thing. So the entire experience not necessarily as fantastic as you would think. But those people that were sitting in our seats mm. and made us feel bad about it almost when we got there, obviously. Mm -hmm. They were laughing in the face of this movie. I mean, there was moments where it was very quiet and super, uh, supposed to be tense. And then some uh, 720p dinosaur would turn a corner <laughs> and they just couldn't contain themselves. Mm -hmm. Very loud. I don't think I'll ever go back to um, non-recliner because I was in a recliner theater this time. It's the best. I need it for my leg. Like, I have to put, I can't have my knees like this. Like, I can't do it. After the surgeries my knees have had. And you got room. Yes, you can mm -hmm. move your legs. Mm -hmm. This is like, uh, move, this is like uh, stadiums. They're becoming suites. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yeah. Movie theater's going to have to do the same thing. The IMAX, though, is so large. You know, the fucking screen is 60 feet tall. Yeah, there, you got it. It's Avatar incredible. trailer hit again, though, while watching it on that IMAX. Well, see, I did miss the uh, trailer. Oh, sure. that's right. Sure. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, if it would have been a better movie, <laughs> yeah. I would have stayed till the end. Sure. That's right. They don't show trailers at the end, but, you know. Well, no, what I'm saying is maybe would have went back and watched the beginning. Sure. <laughs> but there was a couple times I was going to text a lot of people, like, what did I miss in the first five minutes? Did it set up the entire thing? What happened? I, I had to miss so much. Turns out maybe I did because none of it made sense. And there is, there's J.P. Cultist out there that are coming after me about J.D.W.'s terrible you thing. You should have texted Neil. He would have uh, rewinded it for you. Well, Neil was, uh, Neil was a good guy. They were packed out. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who was, even yesterday. Fucking packed. Yeah. Well, they beat Top Gun. Go, might be able to go check out uh, Jurassic World Dominion this weekend, it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. On HBO. Wait, be a lot of seats up. It beat Top Gun <laughs> yeah. this weekend. It didn't beat Top Gun's opening weekend, though. No, it beat Top Gun's opening weekend. Did it? I think so, yeah. Whoa. I think that's what I heard. It got like 155. That's what uh, Jurassic World got. Top Gun got like 60 million this weekend, too. Yeah, Top Gun may have opened upwards uh, over 200 million because that was Cruise's biggest ever. I will say ca uh, Card Counter there mm -hmm. yeah. just kind of got a pass because we passed by it. Oh. Who did that? that? Somebody important made that movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Oscar Isaac. Uh, uh, Oscar Isaac was, was the actor. Paul Schrader, maybe some guy who's written like stuff in the past that's like really good. But I think for that kind of stuff, like, that movie has everything I like in it. Yeah, literally everything I mm -hmm. like in it. The problem now is you got to sift through a lot of the bullshit because a lot of the movies on there were made like three years ago and were probably supposed to be in theaters. But then with COVID and everything, they're like, oh, this movie actually kind of sucks. Like, let's just sell it to HBO Max because no one's going to go see it in the theater. And now, like, more of the streaming services will get those kind of movies where, like, you know, it, the premise is like, oh, shit, this looks awesome. And then you watch it and it's like, oh, well, no, no wonder this was never in theaters. This All right, let's dive into sports.